Well, we use solo in PE to um, help kids with their written work. So we take, um, use the maps a lot to help them to develop their ideas. Um, we've found that it um, helps them a lot when they actually come to write an essay or a um, written task because they've actually thought through their ideas. It structures their thinking really, really well. And it also allows them to kind of think outside the box a bit more and develop a few more ideas than what they would if they just were um, writing a straight essay. We've used it at all levels of PE, right from year nine to year 13. And we've got a real push for it in year nine at the moment, um, year nine and 10, because we're trying to develop our students into good learners in terms of when they hit NCEA. It's changed my teaching in a number of ways. Firstly, um, I think a little bit more about the verbs that I'm using when I'm um, you know, writing tasks and also when I'm um, you know, just giving students ideas and ways to work. Um, I use the, the maps a lot more now um, and make sure that um, when I'm using the maps that they actually apply the maps to something else rather than just doing the maps and, and leaving them at that. And I'm also now starting to think about the levels of learning um, in terms of the, you know, going through from uni structural to extended abstract and how we can apply that in PE in terms of showing the kids what they're doing and how they can get to the next level.